Okay, guys. Um, so this week we are going to kind of start a new unit. Um, it's pretty easy. Um, so this is what you're normally seeing. You have your notes video. There is not a notes page. Um, so just use a piece of notebook paper. Please take notes, guys. Um, you can use those on your practices. And then when we get to a quiz, you're welcome to use your notes on your quiz as well. Okay, so when you pull up the practice problems this week, it's going to look a little bit different. So it's going to take you to a document, and that document is going to have all the practice problems on it. Okay, so you can just write these down on your, um, you can print this if you would like, or you can write this down on just your notebook piece of paper and get all your answers. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click on this and it's going to take you to a Google form that just has you input your answers. So it doesn't give you the problems again. It just says your answer. Now, because we're dealing with exponents in this unit, there is a way that you have to type in the exponent answers into the computer. Okay. And it's kind of like the little carrot button that we use on our um, calculators to input um, exponents. So let's say I was going to type in 4 to the second power. So 4 is my base, so I would type in 4. And then because the 2 is supposed to be an exponent, you are going to need to use this caret button, okay? If I just type it without hitting shift, it'll type a 6. You don't want a 6. Okay, you want the little symbol. You want that little arrow symbol. That kind of shows you that you're raising it to a power. So you're going to hit the shift, hold down the shift button and hit that. And so what's going to pop up is a little caret button. So that what that means is 4, and then whatever you type next is going to be your exponent. So we type in 4 squared so that my answer, whoops, my answer looks like this. Okay, so that will tell me that you are wanting your base to be 4 and your exponent to be 2. Okay, so that's how you type in your exponent answers. On the second video this week, we're going to be dealing with division problems. So whenever you're dealing with division problems and you need to put a fraction bar, you're going to use the backs backslash. Okay, so you're going to just hit the backslash and then whatever is in front um, I will know is on top of your fraction, and then whatever you type in in the back, let's say it's 9, I'm going to raise it to the 7th power. So what that would tell me is on top of your fraction bar, you have 4 squared, and on the bottom of your fraction bar, you had 9 to the 7th power. Okay, so make sure that you are typing in your answers correctly, guys. If you have any questions on this, please email me first before you try and submit your answers. Um, these two concepts should be pretty simple. Again, take your notes, ask any questions via email. I am here all day and happy to help you in any way. Hope you guys are staying safe.